I'm rolling on everything. We all good? That is not the intro. No, <laughs> that was shit. That so there's been some more problems <laughs> week. That tends to happen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how do we all find it? Where do we all stand? Do, has anyone dropped points? Has anyone gained points? Has anyone, you know, been really shit? Um, is Willie Caballero <laughs> a goalkeeper? We'll find all of these things out. Um, <laughs> On the back house. <laughs> we should intro like this more often, I like it. <laughs> just vague points yeah, about the I week. I know we normally start on games, but can we just start with that question? Like, genuinely. Is we, uh, the, that, is the, that is the worst two attempted saves I've ever seen. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, tricked everyone. Thinking, you know what? I know what we said earlier. And I know that Kepa, we all thought Kepa was a dickhead for not coming out of the net in the Carabao final. Fucking too right, Kepa. If I had turned over him, but fucking Bully Caballero was coming on for me, and I'd seen him in training do shit like that, I'd be like, I fucking think not. <laughs> Maybe that's, what's, imagine, that's the secret that Frank was like, Sarri was like, oh, in net, And then me going, oh, I'm actually going to summon a 12-year-old girl now. <laughs> You'd be like, no, I don't think so. I would have the same reaction, the, the, the finger that, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I, that, that fucking, it was the second goal, I think, where he just kind of was like. Both were terrible. He could have, he could have tried to save it at least. Like, he just kind of looked at it, go past him. Yeah, I know what you mean. For the first one, it's probably, un it's probably unsavable from Harvey Barnes. I'm not saying you should have saved it. But you shouldn't turn your back on the shot, run to the other <laughs> post with looking over your shoulder. What was that? Me and Ross were uh, honestly, and I was just baffled. Honestly, mate, I said it before the game. I said it before the game, but we need Rob Green back. Like this, is, we're in a honestly, scale. I think. Right. I think... Oh, what? Dog's barking. Uh, sorry. Um... <laughs> It was a shambles. It was utterly... And you know what? I don't know how Leicester didn't just start shooting from 40 yards constantly. <laughs> why, why was Kepa dropped in the first place? Because he's just been shit. Well, it's not like the fact that he's a kid because they would have dropped him a long time ago. Um, it's just that he's been really shit recently. Like The, the stats are saying that he's been one of the worst keepers in the Prem. So for, I think Frank was kind of like... Outside, for, from outside the box, more than any other keeper. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's the just... percentage of any keeper in the league uh, that's played over that's like, the one. games, doesn't he? Yeah, so like, so like Fair he's not. had such a shit start that I think Lampard just gone. You know what? Fuck, have a sit down, think about what you've done. And it, but <laughs> but unfortunately <laughs> for Lampard, he's had to bring on Caballero. <laughs> <laughs> um, it wasn't good. It was not good. But I like what Frank Lampard's done with um, taking him to the bench. It's just unfortunate that. Our second goalkeeper is Willie Caballero. Maybe we should have brought the third goalkeeper on. Get Jamie Cummins yeah, on. You should, have, you, should have, yeah, you should have played the child. Yeah, fuck it. He's oh, like... He's... He's the 12, yeah, the 12-year-old girl should have played. <laughs> should have played the child. Well, played <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know. Caballero has these weird moments where sometimes it looks good, but sometimes it looks like he's literally never played football before in his life. It's like, do you remember when we went to the... Um, well, I don't know if you... Well, we took Lily to the, to the park to play football once. I watched her try to kick it <laughs> and it was genuinely devastating. Like she didn't understand that momentum had to be put into the kick. And oh she, god, yeah, she. <laughs> she didn't understand. She, yeah, the shout out to you, Lily. And that was what I saw in Cavalero's eyes when he tried to save the ball. <laughs> the exact same look. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. It was a bit of a shambles. Like you said, luckily, like Vardy was an on form and fucking smacking him in because we would have lost that game with his form. Hmm. That being said. It was yeah. a good, I enjoyed the game. It was a good game. Did any of you actually watch it all? I didn't watch the match. I, oh, I didn't watch it. No, nah, so basically, it was actually a really good game. It was like <laughs> back and forth. Um, they, As you saw, they missed some absolute sitters, but so did we. Um, mm. So like like Tammy at the start, I think Reece James put this fucking beautiful ball in. And all Tammy had to do was just get his foot onto it and he would have scored. But he didn't. Um, so it was just a really... Annoying, but also really enjoyable game, and I think two-two was probably fair. But, 
on the balance, it probably was. But if I was you, Jay, I'd be I'd be more angry. What with Tammy? <laughs> no, because I know you are all you know super super frank, wibbity wibbity whoop. But huh. he's thrown a little hissy fit because he couldn't get a striker. He's not even picked Giroud in his squad. And he's refused to bring Tammy Abraham on when ta- uh, it was not Tammy Abraham. Sorry, Mitchy Batshuayi. Yeah, he brought on like Ross Barkley, didn't he? He brought on Barkley and then moved Williams to striker. I have never seen William as William play a striker <laughs> ever. Like, nope. But uh, I'm just so... it just it, I don't I don't know. Okay, I can't say I, why, but it's not angering me because because it as much as we. Like we, it was a good game and we deserved the point, and it worked. Um, Leicester are a good team. They might not be having the best past two, three games, but they've been a brilliant team this season, better than us by far, better than all three of our teams. So to get a point, I was like, fair enough. We got a point. He did what he had to do. Dropped off a cliff, though, haven't they? A shit now. Fuck him. <laughs> Don't think they're shit now. <laughs> but yeah. Um, well, they're still above all, isn't it? Yes, they? exactly. And... I don't even understand. They're still shit. It's last year. Fuck them. Uh, um, Rudiger as well. Come on. Rudiger having that beautiful head after the, the second goal. Big man. Big man. Yeah, it does say a lot, though, when you have all of that. You know, you're supposed to have Ross Barkley, William Mount, um, Tammy, and. Rudiger. Yeah, yeah. Scoring a brace. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I did think that. I did. Cause, I did <laughs> think that. that. Happens in football, but you, it just kind of proves that the chances are for the first time. The first time this fucking season that we've we've not passed the corner, done a short corner, then played it back to Kante, who's then played it back to I don't know Christensen, who's then played it back to the fucking keeper. We actually whipped it in, and look, we it worked. That, so that was that was a good thing for us. So it's actually, yeah, it's funny that, like, we've maybe realised that in order to score, you should probably attack. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. It's mental, <laughs> isn't it? It's mental. I think we need to learn that what as well. Works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah de- definitely, definitely. <laughs> like, I need to learn about that. Um, <laughs> well, before the pod, me and Adam were just saying how, like, shit that game was and how little time we need to spend mm. on it. But do you want to speak anything about it, Adam? I watched the game. Uh... <laughs> Well, well, you know, Fernandez started, which was, <laughs> oh yeah, so do I. Uh, it was nice to see Fernandez. If you weren't a bit, if you weren't have started, I wouldn't have been as asked about watching it. But you know, I thought might be something special here, but I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a you know, she was the best player on the pitch. It made my like. Oh yeah, it definitely was. The, the issue we had was we had no true striker on the pitch. We had Marshall up front, who is like having no one up front. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Because you've signed Audi and the goal, though. <laughs> yes. You know what? I'm really excited. Oh, of to course see you that. are. Yeah, that's of course. Yeah, yeah. A lot about... I'm actually, with Adam, I think it's actually a pretty smart signing. People forget. Audi and the goal mm. didn't flop in the Premier League and, and move no, to China. Right. He, he actually banged them in consistently and then went, all mm. right, you know what? Watford's a shithole. I'm going to go down to the That's what happened. Like, he doesn't... He, he, and he was brilliant. Uh, but, he, but that was five yeah, well, years ago. So I, I'm not going to say that's going to be repeated, but it's not the worst punt. No, he, at the end of the day, he's, he's here for, for six months, isn't he? I think you've got an option to buy well. obviously not... Really? I, I think you do, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, Rashford being out, it's it's the right thing to do. We needed the striker. I'm so glad we got at least someone because Martial was the worst player on the pitch. He was awful. He, he didn't chase the ball. He didn't chase it down. He didn't close it down. Whenever he did get the ball, he was on. He was in the corners. So if a cross was on, there was no one in the box to, to get onto it. It goes to show as well the fact <laughs> that the past three games, you've not scored a goal. Shit, I didn't realize. Yeah, like you've not even scored one. Uh, well, sorry, Premier League games. You obviously had that game against Tramia where you yeah. scored fucking loads. But <laughs> Premier League games, oh. your last three games, you've not scored one. It's like when Rashford's out, who's going to score? And the answer's literally no yeah, one. Exactly. <laughs> and, and that's why I'm so, I'm really, really happy to see the guy that I need the team and he's apparently a true United fan. So we'll see what happens. Our next Premier League game is against you, innit? Yeah, yeah, big one. I'm pretty sure. So we'll see what happens. 
But Pereira needs to go. He's absolutely <laughs> terrible. He is, Drew Redmond. How, 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 how Oli can look at him and go, you know what? You're going to start. It's beyond me, honestly. <laughs> it's just, just, yeah. Is that's it all I have to say. Is it because Oli Gullit because... isn't a very good football manager? Because that would be my theory. <laughs> it always goes back to that. <laughs> I don't know. Potentially. Well, <laughs> there's just so there's so much wrong at the club at the moment. I can't put my finger on what has to be done. That's a, yeah, fair enough. There is you're right there. There's a lot of shit going on and. No one knows how to save it because fucking your owners have brought Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to save it, and that's what's happening. Listen, if 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 we brought Poch in now, this is hypothetically, he would still have Pereira in the squad. <laughs> he would still have <laughs> Lindelof in the squad. He would still have Shaw in the squad. Do you know what I mean? There's not, there's all, only so much you can do with this shit. Oh yeah, yeah. You know the shit. Uh, they are. That, that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. Fuck Should it. we move on? Move on. Initial break, get in. You are breaking up a lot, Josh. Uh, bear with us, guys. We think Josh has just died. Hopefully. Um, not hopefully he got run over. Hopefully I'll be back soon. I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I should have paused, should I? Hopefully, fucking hell. <laughs> Okay, so um, uh, well, before I actually talk about the actual game, I would like to talk about that fact that um, a few, about two months ago now, uh, Tottenham was like hot on Chelsea's heels, and we had the chance to like draw level with them with a win. Yeah. And we bottled it, and then you went like 10 points clear of us. And now we're slowly getting to a stage again now where if, um, let's say we all the results go both our ways, beating you in three games' time puts us a point behind you. So... <laughs> Yeah. It's, a, it's a strange one. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's, 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 before you carry on, Josh, it's the same as was. It's the past two weeks. Like I know last week was against Liverpool, but again we've we've lost the chance to get get closer to you. You're gen. No, 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 no. But like you're genuinely shit. <laughs> like your team is genuinely not managed by a Premier a football a Premier League. Player. <laughs> like you have excuses. You have Pereira and. Lingard and we have those players too. We have Wanyama and Dyer, but the difference is we don't fucking play them. Like, <laughs> we have to play them. <laughs> well, you but remember sorry, not like... too long ago, Adam, you were buzzing about being fifth. I, I know that, that, because we're shit. <laughs> I, I agree with everything you're saying. <laughs> United season can be boiled down to that stupid game they played against Sheffield, where they were winning and then they drew, and then Adam was like, "Ollie in, Ollie out." It's like the fact is, get him the fuck out because he's shit. <laughs> Honestly, I can't print my words. If I, I don't understand how Manchester United fans who have been annoyed at Jose Mourinho, Lewis van Gaal and even David Moyes are, are content with Solskjaer at the club. It's not about time. It's not about giving him time with the players. It's not about giving him time to turn things around. It's about getting him away from your club as soon as possible because he is a fucking shit, shit, shit football manager that's been relegated with Cardiff. I've said it before and fucking won a league with Molde. Brilliant. Fucking. Okay. How was your game then, Josh? <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, right. um... You know, it wasn't just alright, come on. It's a really weird one because when we talk about Tottenham City, we can talk about the fact that City could have been 3 0 up in 15 minutes quite easily. Easily. Easy, easily. Easily. Um, easily. Um, they could have. They outplayed us. They outclassed us. They probably outclassed us for the entire first half. However,. Zinchenko got a stupid second booking via yeah, yellow, which it was blatant. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't up for debate. He that that city's tactical stupid fouls finally catching up to them. Yeah, even and, the commentator said that. And quite frankly, it's a miracle Sterling remained on the pitch. He should have gone twice, in my opinion. Like he dived for the to try and win a penalty. Mm-hmm. He'd already been booked for what is arguably a red on Deli Alley. And he committed tactical fouls himself. There was no way Sterling should have been on the pitch. So, it should have been nine men. So, you know, what What do you want? Yes, they outplayed us, but yeah, they, they fucked it. And they lost all their discipline. So... And out of all of this, we have just the absolute beautiful video of Mourinho <laughs> laughing, <laughs> sitting down, and then his geezer it just goes, hold on, and he goes, fucking hold on, and they just... just that is a fantastic video, that. <laughs> It it's like the best meme in a while, man. Like, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> regardless what happened in the game, we now have that. <laughs> uh, my favourite one was just so it's like I think they said that it's like when there's a fight in the smoking area, 
Yeah, that's what I like. What I like. Uh, no, it was it was good. Um, I mean, I, 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 I like to draw a lot of comparisons. It took over a thousand minutes for Pepe to score his first goal from open play. It took Bergwin uh, sixty three minutes. So that's good. Um, and what a fucking goal oh, it was! We finished. It was when a we very good goal, wasn't it? I didn't. It was one of those ones where it took us like a half second to register when he stripped that ball. <laughs> you were like, yeah. "Oh, okay." And then Sons was great as well. Little, and you know, it was it was good. It was good times. I don't really understand why we're trying to play Lucas Moura as a striker when you've got Son that could play as a striker. It, yeah, and good. yeah, just switch them two around, and it seems like that might work better. And like, I don't see how who how Alderweireld is going to hit the smallest man on the pitch from long balls. <laughs> but you know what as well um, there was that pen wasn't that um, that Lloris saved really well oh, good save and then he's gone for the ball again the second time round and that well, was arguably that's, 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 that's the Mourinho meme that's the Mourinho meme mm. yeah yeah that's yeah but like he's laughing because of the penalty save there was no way. And it was it's like, hold on. Definitely, definitely. A first, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining that it was a first penalty. It was. We need to scrap yeah. this. We, we played on for two and a half minutes before that penalty was given. That's Jeez. not like... It's fucking ridiculous, man. Two rather, minutes. I'd rather the game stop and have that wait than play on. Mm. Yeah, because you've just. You, your mind's gone now. You don't think about it, and it's like, hold on. Yeah. Two minutes you're, ago, this happened. That's ridiculous. You're exerting you're you're, you're, you're more energy. We could have a chance at a goal. We could, you know, something else could happen. What happens if then a red card challenge mm. goes in, that, in yeah. those two minutes? I know, I know there are protocols for it, but do you send the guy off? And then disregard all that play and take it back for the penalty, or do you not send him off because technically he shouldn't be in play? What? It's, mm. That's well, I think what we, it gets too bollocks. I think we asked this question a, a few a... weeks ago, didn't we? Like, how long does the play have to go on before the incident has happened gets forgotten about? Yeah, ma- ma- imagine if imagine if it just didn't go out of play, like really tick a tap of football. For <laughs> it's like twenty minutes later, and they're just like, oh, by the way, well, blow that's the that's whistle, spot, and everyone's like, what? <laughs> Mike Dean does the fucking symbol, and everyone's like, wait. what? <laughs> He's known for that long as well. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. But you don't think it was a second pen, no? Absolutely not. Sterling died. No. He, he looked for it all day, didn't he? You know, exactly there's, there's, there's a still image. There's a still image. And he could have won it. because. But there's a still image. You see his... What foot must have been? So it's his left leg is the one that's going for the, going for the ball in inverted commas. He's already collapsed his own right leg. <laughs> yeah. Like, he can, he's already put like taken all of... Made it go limp. Yeah, yeah, and it, and the thing, the thing for me as well, Lloris wasn't like that reckless. He he dived. It was just his hand now. It was hundred percent like got the ball. Was had eyes for the ball. Like, do you know what really convinced me as well? I have never seen Tottenham Hotspur captain Hugo Lloris that angry. <laughs> I, I, ever he and I don't, don't I I uh, we've all saved penalties. It's probably one of the things that gets you hyped up most in any it, it gets more happens scoring a goal or anything doesn't it mm. saving a pen yeah it's fucking you, go, yeah. You, lo- you lose your head in that moment when you save a pen you just stand up and you're like <laughs> <laughs> it's mad but so I get that he'd have been filled with adrenaline anyway but he would look ready to bite Raheem Sterling's <laughs> like <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah no you got the um, you got the fucking three points man which puts Liverpool 22 points clear now yeah I mean yeah Whatever, it doesn't matter now, does it? <laughs> no. Well, it it's Liverpool. The fucking Liverpool fans still seem to believe that there's a chance that they won't win. Yeah, Ross's <laughs> mates were saying this to me the other day. He was like, "What if we don't win it?" And Ross was just like, "Shut up." Yeah, literally, like every other fan right now. I, I there are obviously are some, and everyone is getting gassed. But like most Liverpool fans right now are still saying, "Oh, I don't know if we're gonna win." We should double or nothing. We should say to them, "Look, do you deal? Don't win, don't win the league." You get relegated. <laughs> do, it. do it, you coward! Do it, you cowards! Go on, then. This, this isn't this isn't the biggest. I've read today. This isn't the most you you could win a Premier League by. This isn't the the big. This isn't um. This is the biggest gap ever at the top of the Premier League mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at any yeah, stage no. of the season. <clears throat> yeah, there's no, it's, never it's been twenty two points between first and second ever. And that gap's only going to increase. Yeah. Yeah, because you still don't see him slowing down, do you? No. I can't I, I can see him getting beat. Yeah, no, same. But that's still... I can also see every single team in the season, in the league has um, lost six times or more. It's mad, that is. 
It's just a Every shit scene. Like that, 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 that happened because of, of us beating City. City were on five. But now I've oh, yeah. lost six times or more. You know, I'll just, I'll just quickly check this out. You know how they're 22 points clear? Norwich only have 18 points. <laughs> like, they don't even have the points you could, clear. You could, put, you could put Norwich between Liverpool and City. <laughs> and, just have, and it would still be two points. Right if they if they merge their, their clubs and merge the points for some weird reason, they'd still be in front. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Cl- Claric, not, oh, sorry, I was about to say classic Norwich City, but that is actually the name of. Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> so, in, uh, in in uh, other news, if you got if you're done with, with your point, Josh. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we'll all be interested in this one. Arsenal are still shit. No, no, I, 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 I'm enjoying that. Uh, speaking of, I don't know if you realise <laughs> this, but let's not. But some facts about Arsenal here is they've also lost six games, you know, which is the minimum any, any team Parliament mm-hmm. has lost. The only difference is they've only won six games this season. That's insane. Oh. <laughs> they've drawn 13 games. Shit. That's which incredible. I think, which I think is the level with their Invincible season, so you know. Yeah, they drew. They drew. (laughs) 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 That's brilliant. They're level with Burnley on thirty-one points, who they couldn't beat. They're still in the bottom half of the table, aren't they? Yeah. Have you seen that picture of um? Oh, that I put in. Yeah, I've got sent you it. The one of Joe Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like just all the iconic photos of so many players. (laughs) Just that squad. Do you, like the, do you like the gap I left so you don't get confused? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? There's been some good memes from this week's football. Yeah. I'll tell you some what, what happened with... Uh, what, is he the... Saka, what is he called? Their winger? Quite young. Uh, Saka. Saka, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I was I was watching the game. I watched the first half. And he, he was on the wing. And he skipped past whoever he skipped past. And the guy's put his leg out. And he's jumped over his leg. He's dived. Like, it's the most blatant dive you've ever seen in your life. And he's landed on his knee, diving, and fucking injured mm. himself. It was the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen because he was in the, he was in the tunnel at half time, like that, playing with his knee. I was like, "You're a fucking idiot! What are you doing?" That is, that is beautiful. <laughs> it was it's beautiful just, to see. It's just, it's just. They, I mean, I was, I was saying this. It does take a lot of because I was sort of keeping an eye on the Burnley Arsenal game. And just before I continue, I can hear my own echo. Is someone not got their mic in? I can hear your echo, okay. but my mic's in, yeah. My mic's in. Okay, weird. Anyway, um, I was watching keeping an eye on the Burnley Arsenal game, because obviously if they get three points from that, it puts a lot more pressure on your massive game against City. And you sort of sat there going, oh, fuck, like they're going to catch up to us. Because even if Tottenham finish 11th, if Tottenham finish, if Arsenal finish 15th, it's still kind of funny. <laughs> like, so yeah, like we were shit, but you were shit yeah. As soon as they dropped more points to Burnley, I was like, that took so much pressure off that City game. And I was there like, we're probably going to lose. But, you know. But, fuck it. That's a good time. <laughs> that <laughs> is. <laughs> a great time. Yeah, good uh... yeah. All right, I think that's a good place to end part one, boys. Yep. Yeah. Right. We don't really have um, <laughs> much more to talk about, so we'll see how this one goes. Um... But let's, let's go for it. We've taught them how Southampton on Wednesday, the replay. Um, it should be fun. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, we well, might, you watch this um, game, yeah. Josh. Well, now I'm free, so yeah. Wednesday night, innit? Got nothing on. It's fine. Um, you know, we'll probably play our team and our manager will turn up because, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're a decent club. Yeah. <laughs> I did see that the interesting thing is the fact that you see that Liverpool have like fucked over Shrewsbury's like wouldn't let them use their ticketing facilities or something, so Everton have had to let Shrewsbury use their okay. ticketing facilities. Shrewsbury have tweeted out uh, we have arranged with Everton FC to use their Bulletins Road ticket away office for collections only on the night ahead of the Emirates FA Cup fourth round replay and field. The Bullins Road ticket office will be staffed by the usual Shrewsbury Town ticket office staff and will be open for 5.30. It's then a short walk across Stanley Park to Anfield. We want to thank Everton for allowing us to use their facilities. There's no parking at Everton, so park it. Well, how does it normally work at a away game? Surely... I don't understand. At a smaller club it'll be different, I suppose, won't it? But, like, 
Is that because Liverpool are just like are Liverpool not turning up to man ticket office either? Are they just no one turning up? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Literally, there's no one going to be behind the bar. <laughs> there's just no one's oh, going to be no. there. <laughs> I don't actually understand what's, what's going on with it. Fuck knows, man. It sounds like they're just being dickheads again. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway. Well, they never stop being dickheads, to be fair. Do they? Yeah. Any, anyway, but yeah, so that's happening. And um, I think we'll probably beat Southampton, well, I well, think. But, you know. Southampton have been knocked off the confidence from, from that Liverpool game. So I think they're going to drop off a bit hopefully. now. That's the hopefully. That could be one good thing Liverpool mm. do is not. Because, they, they, you know, they beat us. They beat Leicester. They beat you, didn't they, Jay? They beat Chelsea? Can't remember, you know. I don't think I'm so. Pretty sure they beat you a few weeks ago, didn't they? It, it probably happened because I can't remember it, and I might have erased it. I just feel like game. I mocked you for it, and then they beat us, <laughs> and then they beat Leicester, and then they just beat everyone. It's like okay, Southampton. Like sorry for mocking you, Southampton. And they, yeah, they beat us two 0 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Day. They just spanked everyone for a few <laughs> weeks, and now hopefully, you know. Yeah, they just went on a mad one, didn't they, the bastards? Which is a shame because like every single every single thing apart about Southampton improved after Christmas, and they went on this real run. Apart from Che Adams, who just cannot play football, which is sad because he looked really promising when he was at Burn. Well, yeah, no. Every every FIFA career I had for a while, I'd get him in. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get him in, and he'd be, the and he'd just blossom to this beautiful fucking striker. But yeah, no, he's in the Adam Armstrong category now. Lucy <laughs> striker, ex Newcastle. Did you ever use him? I didn't know. Didn't ever use him. Speaking of FIFA, actually, just as I know we've already discussed Stephen Bergwin, but. Good FIFA player, Stephen Bergeron. Like, oh, well, actually, this is quite a, 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 a fun uh, little stat nugget, I guess, as you'd call it. Oh, no, we have to bin that because that's something that someone else has used, isn't it? Anyway, um, <laughs> do, do, do edit there. Um, so, do you remember last season we had to draw against Barcelona and Inter Milan completely bottled it against PSV, and that's the only reason we went on our run? Like, we shouldn't have yeah, got to out of the group stage, but you remember I went mental in the pub because Inter fucked Yeah, them. yeah. It's um, in one of our last pods, actually. Well, yeah, is, from yeah. season one. But Stephen 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 Bertrand like was one of the like assisters or goal scorers in that game that um, sabotaged Inter. So you know it was destiny. Mm. That's a nice he start. knew. He absolutely <laughs> he knew. knew. Fair play. And too. then they tweeted out like you're well, you're welcome, uh, Tottenham. And then a year later, we've taken that tweet like thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Um, no, um, but, yeah. as, sorry. Sorry. Um, as as. Uh, Adam alluded to in the first part, we our next game after this break um, will be Chelsea United, which is a big one. Yeah, uh, again, it's, it's, it's too open in it from third to eight. Yeah, so that's you really clutching at straws to get to four, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's just really open <laughs> from you know third to eight. Chelsea, yeah. no. I don't fucking know. Um. It's f- five, Sorry, what was six, said? Five, six, seven. What? How many points away? Yeah, yeah. Between not, not Chelsea much. and United. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. I think it's five in it. You're on thirty-one, five. in you? We should know this. We should. Well, I know how. <laughs> I know where Tottenham. I thought someone was looking at it. You Which are. Looking? Yeah, I am looking. You are six points behind us. Six. Right. So. Um, but to be fair though, like after your last game and after our last game too, you know, like not the not our greatest performances, put it that way. I, mm. We still we still look better than you guys, surely. Yeah, I, 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 you did smash yeah, us four 0 at the start of the season, and we also beat in the FA Cup. Yeah, that also happens. So it's time for revenge, and Rudiger's yeah, going to score a fucking actuary. Well, you know what? Let's ha- let's have a draw. <laughs> let's get Tottenham to spank the fuck out of Aston Villa, and let's reduce that gap to um a- a two points. Let's not let that happen. That anyway, happen? So what a point I'd make as I is the fact that we've been you know pretty shit this season. But whenever you know when Spurs come getting close to us, even when United come close to us, we start we did manage to pull ourselves away from you guys, and I know Ooh. that is. Someone, due to the fact that you guys just jinxed it uh, <laughs> touch wood well, well, I could say the same uh, that every time we come up against half a decent team you know top six team so to speak we've not played too bad we've actually 
gone. Oh, no, shit. that's this is a big team. We might we might beat him. Well, that's again because Solskjaer's shit. He, he he can go up to the team and set them up because he's got pace. He doesn't have tactics. He just has pace. So you get Liverpool, City, Tottenham, Arsenal come at you, and you just get Rashford, Martial, and James to pelt down the other end of the pitch. They, as soon as they run into a wall that happens to be the five men of Brighton, they go, oh <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, well, hopefully it's an interesting game shot. in that case then. Well, yeah. Yeah, I can see it being a good game, to be fair. Uh, I'd say it's at Stamford Bridge as well, which used to mean something, but now this season hasn't meant anything. It's mean more likely we might lose. Maybe that's because you were desperate to get out of there, and then you've now fucked it. We ain't desperate to get out of there. We want to build on top of it. Yeah, you're desperate to get out of that stadium and improve and increase ticket revenue so you can compete, and now you lose your planning permission to build that new stadium in April. I'm happy about it. So we have to spend three years at Wembley. Oh yeah, <laughs> but in the long run, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna really <laughs> suffer for it. That we, mate, of course we're gonna build it eventually. It's not like you say that's that? it now. You oh, you've lost it. You're not gonna build the stadium yeah, yeah, ever, the, ever the, the again. Longer you put, no. The longer you put off those three years, the worse it's gonna get. Think of Tottenham's first it's, year at Wembley. Uh, it's hard, man. Wembley's yeah, of course shit. it's hard. It's gonna, it's obviously gonna hurt us, no matter what seat, like where we are. You know what I mean? Like if, if it happened from now to three years, or if it happens in six years' time for three years, it's gonna be shit either way. Picture the headlines, matter. Adam. Picture the headlines. Chelsea relegated at Wembley. <laughs> That's not oh. happening. <laughs> it can get bad, but it won't get that bad. Well, you know, so I, at some point in our lifetime, one of the big six teams will be relegated. You know, I thought about this the other day. I speak no, to I, I disagree with yeah. that. I think there's there's too much money within the big teams now. But you're looking, you, you, you've got, you've definitely got a point. There is a lot of money, but it's 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 happened. I know there's not as much money back in the day, but look how apart, all apart, apart from Liverpool, money. look how level the rest of the teams are getting. Yeah, like mm. look how like, I don't know. There's like I know Don. No, did... I think that's the, that's this season being really shit. You know what? And it might just because because of City get done for financial fair play and get docked forty points. Like who knows? Like, but <laughs> I, I reckon I reckon it'll happen. It could. It really could happen. And I thought about this the other day, and I just it it's a, it's quite a scary thought. I think mm. I wouldn't mind it. I'd have a, I'd have fun in the championship. Yeah, but no, well, no matter what happens to Tottenham, <laughs> it's always all right for some yeah, reason. It's, it's like, quite annoying. Yeah, the only reason they want to go to the Championship is so they can actually win a trophy. Oh, we wouldn't. <laughs> we wouldn't. We'd disappointingly come up in second. <laughs> we, wouldn't even, we, wouldn't, <laughs> we wouldn't even win the playoff. We'd be that fucking team that finishes second. Like, oh, for God's sake. You know, <laughs> what, like, imagine, like, you know, Spurs and Arsenal get relegated, though, and you just... To start scrapping it out for first place in the championship. <laughs> Mad. No, it would be a, it would be it would be West Brom win, Tottenham second, and then like Leeds <laughs> in the playoff, and we're just be like, right, guys. <laughs> I, you can tell we've run out of shit to talk about. We yeah, talk well, about Spurs we, we, and the we, we, we were going to talk about the Champions League, which and the Europa League, and uh, we weren't saying too much about it. Uh, we actually were going to face Red Bull Leipzig, and I was terrified about that because they'd scored like three goals in like three or more goals in like seven or eight consecutive eight consecutive mm. games which is like a Bundesliga yeah. record but now they've started to lose a little bit they've dropped off the top of the table which is probably worse because we are shit against you know whatever the odds are in our favour we fuck it so I'd have rather <laughs> than been like absolutely class and we just get, at least get have a good game but now it makes it interesting at least but there's not much to say about that because we're, we're nowhere near there mm. yet the only question I wanted to, Jay you have Bayern is it? Yep. Yeah, that's interesting. They are top of the Bundesliga again, you know. Uh, you saw and they are smashing it. You as saw well. what they did to uh, Tottenham. Um, yeah. Hor- horrible things. Um, Horror. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate. Um, Never it been. is a game that I'm very excited for, but also at the, at the exact same level, terrified for. It's it's going to be tough. I mean, they're not smashing it in the Bundesliga. They, they went there, they're currently winning, but it's not too far They off. had a better spell to be fair Leipzig are only like a point or two behind but they had a really good spell but um, it's uh, we're nowhere near their level at the minute no, I mean, no not a lot of teams really are like it, they are 
brilliant, and they have the best striker in Europe, probably. So, and you have, you know, a child. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have Ross Barkley as well. But Adam, we? uh, please give us your insight <laughs> on who you're playing. That would be lovely. I, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. That's how little you care. Right. <laughs> so you know what? When last season, when um, Chelsea were in the Europa League, I tried to make the most out of it. I was like, I was. It was quite sad because every time we'd come on the podcast, Josh would be like, "Yeah, we're fucking slap city," <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, we just we we got through on penalties against Frankfurt." <laughs> like it was just I, 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 at least I tried. Whereas you have I no clue who you're playing. <laughs> just, just before we go on to that, I was actually just on Twitter today, and there was a City fan saying uh, how embarrassing and tin pot it is that Tottenham celebrated that loss against City that w- took us through to the semi-final. <laughs> and imagine having that meant that. <laughs> <I'm> like, oh, <laughs> obviously, with City, obviously with City scoring in the last few seconds and then it being ruled out. Can you imagine just all Tottenham fans just like, nah, we're not, we're not, celebrate, we're not celebrating that. But, but Tottenham, you've never, you've, you've never been to a semi-final before. No, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> Not celebrating. Yeah, it's pretty shit that. Pretty <laughs> shit that, yeah. No. Not celebrating. See, fans are like becoming <laughs> fucking really irritating, aren't they? <laughs> Do you know who we're playing? Anyway, Adam, you play. Oops, yeah, you play Club Bruges. Oh. You want to say enlighten him on who he's playing? <laughs> Fair enough. How do you feel about Minulay <laughs> Club Bruges? Whatever. Minulay's there, That's... isn't he? Isn't that where Minulay is? Oh, I think he is, you know. Oh. Mm-hmm. The thing, the thing is with the Europa League, a lot of good teams from the Champions League drop down, like Inter in the Europa yeah. League, I believe. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, there's a few decent teams in there. Also, Wolves are smashing the Europa League. Nah, they, they, they'll go out this round. They've not got the legs for it, I don't think. Mate, you know well, it's going to be a oh, United Wolves final. And it's going to be nil-nil. <laughs> why why don't drafted. Wolves have the leg for it? You, out, of, out of all the Portuguese midfielders, you've arguably just spent £68 million on the third best out of those two clubs. Yeah, not really, though. No. I mean, Neves is better than uh, Fernandes. Mm, no, I disagree with that. And Martini no, no. is pretty close. Martini, how can you disagree with him? You've seen him play. What have you ever? Don't you dare tell me you've seen Bruno Fernandez rip it up. I love you, know Mate, he's I watched. Love you he's know. watched the highlights on YouTube. You've watched, you've watched the... <laughs> on YouTube at least three times. <laughs> 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 nah, Ruben, nah, Ruben. I love that. It might, it might not prove to be the case, but as things stand, Ruben Neves is a better footballer and. Martinez is probably more of an effective footballer than Fernandez, and maybe that's because they're yep. playing in a more structured team. I'm not going to completely slag off. I'm not slagging off the player. Mm. But you can't at all tell me that Fernandez is is anywhere near. That, that wasn't the point I was proven, making. He hasn't proven to be fair. But oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not as much as what you win the Europa League for the Champions League because I don't think Falk is going to happen anymore. Personally, not with you overtaking us as well. Um, It'd be nice to win some of it, you know. I'm sure you you know how I feel, Josh. I don't know how you feel at all because you think everything's so <laughs> shit when in your worst period in history you've won an FA Cup, a Cuban Shield, and Europa League. Go and fuck yourself. <laughs> Tottenham were in the best period of their history and we won a Carabao Cup in 2008. <laughs> fuck off. And the Audi Cup. Come on, don't forget. Never forget. <laughs> I'm so so go lifted the Audi Cup. But that's that's what United fans really don't get. Like, if, if, like me and Jay have discussed this last week as well. But the pictures of Old Trafford saying we want our club back. Oh, I no, watched that's today. I don't know why it was on Twitter. I'll I'll send you the the video. It's like a it's a video and it's like Solskjaer speaking. It's got sad like, music over it. It's got yeah, sad no, music. I it. It's it, yeah, it's like, I, I he's got saying, friends. In, bit... He's got friends in the me. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. We mm. we are what we're sick. United fans don't know true pain. You think you do, but you don't. It's not as bad as it seems. It just seems shit because we've got a director of football. At, well, we don't. Sorry, we don't have a director of football. We've got someone in charge that knows fuck all about football. We've not got the greatest manager in the world. We've got. No, you really don't. Let's let's not. We've understand. got probably the worst United team I saw... in forty years. So it's it's not as bad yeah. as everyone makes. I saw out. somewhere that. Sorry. I saw somewhere that um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doesn't want there to be um, a director of football, you know, because 
that person will then realise how shit of a manager he is and get him out straight away. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, oh no. He's like, my first, my no. first fucking thing I'm gonna do is get rid of you. They're all in the boardroom. They're all in the. They're all. They're all in the boardroom and like Ollie's got loads of sweat around his neck and like he's pulling at his tie and the director of football's just staring at him like so. So who's this? It's like that's the manager. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Who is he really? No no no. He's the manager. No no. That's the guy that got relegated with Cardiff and won a big title of Uh <laughs> Right, uh, I think we're well. We're not going to end quite yet. I'm going to finish. I reckon I've got something that you guys don't know about. I'm going to quickly tell you about, and then we're going to end. Cool, sounds fun. And if you do now, I'll be surprised because you know. Um, but I would like. To, do you guys uh, just in terms of true pain and suffering? Do you guys know about Lasagna Gate? What gate? Lasagna Gate. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> Let me just uh, quickly fact check the year. I know the story, but I just want to make sure I get the year right. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Right. So in what year was it? Oh, I swear that year. Two thousand and six. Right. Tottenham yeah. had been on one of its best. It had one of its best seasons it ever had. Right. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. oh, just and we were on the cusp of getting. Um, fourth we had one game left and all we had to do was beat West Ham right and we would secure fourth place right unfortunately um, before playing um, all of the all the, the, the meal at the training ground or, or, the, or wherever it was, was was lasagna to which about 80% of our players got food poisoning <laughs> <laughs> and we had to play an incredibly weakened team against West Ham, who then won two one, because all of our players were dead. Some of them actually played, I think, and they just couldn't <laughs> stand basically because they were so ill. So don't talk to me about suffering when Tottenham missed out on its first ever Champions League because of lasagna. Like that's, uh, I'll send you the article. It's a true, it's a true story, and it happened. And no, I completely believe it because it's a sound <laughs> just like your club. I'll read, I'll read you, I'll read you the quote. Um. Okay, it all came down to the infamous lasagna Tottenham's pre-match meal. It caused an outbreak of vomiting and nausea among the players at the Canary Wharf Hotel on the eve of the game, and the effects were obvious as Martin Yall's off-colour side succumbed to costly 2-1 defeat the next day. Fucking hell. Who, who came forth that year? Who came forth that year? Um, so it would have been... Cut. It would have been... Uh, <laughs> Arsenal, brilliant. So I reckon Arsenal, <laughs> that makes it even worse. Arsenal <laughs> fucking poisoned the lasagna. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Oh, yeah. They got a man on the inside, and that's what's happened. Yeah, that was the. Um, yeah, you win it as well, you guys. Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Mourinho's first year, mm-hmm. followed by Man United. How, how. Followed by Liverpool, followed by Arsenal, followed by Tottenham. And if you can tell me the, play, te- the club that finished six. Um, I know you get a point. Everton. The ball. The ball. The ball. Any guesses? Uh, he, well, he just said Everton. It was not Everton. They finished 11th. Oh. Uh, it's uh, West Ham. It was Blackburn. Shit. <laughs> and, he, and as a, a final question, and then I am going to end. Uh, what? Uh, who finished fifteenth that season? Um, City, Man City. <laughs> wow, where they have come! What? Well, well, Josh, what that was a poetic end. way to end the podcast. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank everyone for watching. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.